Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how you can create a, scra a web scraping tool using Python. Now, for this tutorial, we're going to be going on this page. Now, anyone have uh, has access to go to this link and check it out. It's a page that I created on my website and basically has blogs that I have been uploading every now and then regarding technology and programming tutorials and so on. Make sure you definitely check it out. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we're actually going to be creating a tool that goes onto this link and then automatically through Python gets the name of the author um, who wrote the blog and also the title of the blog. And I'll, sh I'll also show you how you can get everything else such as the description, for example, or even the number of likes or views. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first thing I will do is I'll go to my Visual Studio and over here I already created a file called webscraper.pi. It's a Python, uh, PY, sorry, it's a Python file and I'm using right now the interpreter 3.10.7 but you can use anything as long as it's uh, Python 3. Now, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be importing some libraries and before I import them, I j just because people a lot of people usually stress so we're going to be using two different libraries we're going to be using the bs4 library and also the requests library and if you can't see it for whatever reason what you need to do is you need to come over here and you need to type in pip 3 that's the one that i'm using but if yours is just pip you can use that install bs4 and that will install for you be the library. And actually, I'm just going to do it again. You will see that it says, I already have it installed. For you, you need to do it if you don't have it. And also, pip3 install requests. And again, it says that it's already installed. But please make sure you do it if you don't have it. Now, let's get started. To import the libraries that we need, we're going to say from bs4 import beautiful soup. So that's the library that we're going to be using and then import requests. After that, what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a function. So I'm just going to say def, and then I'll say scrape blogs. That's just the name of the function that I'm gonna call. Obviously for your own usage, you can change this to be whatever you want. Now, very easily, what we wanna do now is we wanna create a variable, and I'm just gonna call it page to scrape equal to and then we're going to be using requests dot get and inside of here you need to pass the link of the page that you want to scrape so for example we want to work on this page i'm going to go ahead and copy this and i'm going to go ahead and put it over here and that way we're going to start scraping this page now after that we're going to say soup is equal to beautiful soup here we're going to pass in that variable that we just created. So we're going to say page to scrape. And inside of here, you can tell it what kind of elements you're going to be looking for. In our case, we're going to be saying html.parser. And I'll be making more advanced tutorials going over what are all the other options that we have. So now what do we actually want to scrape? We want to get the name so the author and also the description, or sorry, the title of the blog. So we're gonna go over here and we're going to say authors are equal to soup dot find all. And we're going to open a bracket like this. Inside of here, we're going to be putting something. And then over here, we're also going to say address. We're going to open and close a zigzaggy bracket. And inside of here, we're going to be providing two different things. And I left it empty so just so that it's easier for us to understand what we're doing. Now let's go back over here and we're going to use the inspect element. And then we're going to be click on this icon over here. And we're gonna go uh, on whatever item you want to actually start scraping. For example, the first thing that we want is the author. So we're just going to click on the author and I'm just going to go down over here. You can tell that this is of type span. So you need to go over here and you need to type in span. And basically you're telling your program what to look for. You're basically giving them a key 
or a map on okay i want to go on that web page and i want to look for everything that has this tag span and then we also want to get things with a specific class for example the class responsible for providing the names is called tq0q1a and i'm going to copy that i'm going to type it in over here and then here i'll say class and the one thing to note is that if we have a look at any of the other authors tabs if i click on it you will see that it always has the same tag span and the same class which means anything that has that tag and that class will be printed for us or sorry will be scraped and saved under the authors variable over here so let's go ahead and actually just test if that works first and then we're going to get the title so to do this what i'll do is i'll say something like for author in authors print author and i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna go ahead and run it i like running things through the debugger so i'm going to click on run and debug and actually we forgot to call that function so let's do that i think i'll do that in every tutorial that i ever create there we go we'll save we'll run again and you can see that we are already having an issue so let's have a look at what's going on and i actually forgot to say over here dot text there we go let's run and debug this again and what are we actually doing so we also forgot to actually get the dot text here so let's say dot text and I swear this will be the last time we need to make any adjustment. There we go. So we're getting the authors from the page. And if you realize, all the authors here, because I'm the only one who always writes the blogs, it's always just by David Bullis. So that's why we're getting it. So now, actually before I, sh I we go to creating the titles as well, I want to show you how this gets saved inside of authors. So if I go ahead and type in print authors as a whole, and maybe for now, let's just comment this out and run this. It gets saved as the entire HTML code. You can see that he says Dave Bullis, but it also has all the other information, such as what tag it is, what class it is, and so on. And you can actually get any other information you want. For example, if you want to know what tag the website uses, you can just call all of this and you'll find all the information you need, such as the class, the username, the blog post, so it also has the title here, and everything related. Now let's go ahead and do this, but now we wanna get the title of the blog itself. So what I'll do is, let's just hide this for now. Let's get our full statement back, and we're going to remove this. Now let's go ahead and copy this, and paste it in. And instead, this one will just be called titles. So you find now, let's go have a look whether it's a span or what it is. So we want to know what tag is for the titles. So we're going to select our selector tool. We're going to hover over titles. And you can see that it's a P or a paragraph. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in P. There we go. Let's go ahead and find out what class is being used. So we can see that this is the class. I'm just going to double click on it. I'm going to copy it. And I'll go back here and I'll paste the class. There we go. Beautiful. So now if I come here and replace this by title and this by titles and this one by title again. And save and run this we're gonna get all the titles on that page. For example, the first one is AI is not that impressive. And if you go over here, it says AI is not impressive. Okay, so now that we've got our title and our authors being printed, let's actually combine it so that it has the author and then the title of the book, uh, sorry, the title of the blog. So to do this, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna remove this for loop and we're gonna create something of a bit of an advanced for loop instead. So I will say for 
author and then a comma for titles or title sorry in and we're going to use something called a zip function which allows us to actually zip two different arrays or two different objects together and for loop through them and then we're going to say authors and then we're going to provide our other list which is titles or our other array sorry and then over here we can simply say print author dot text and inside of here we're just going to put a dash maybe we can put some spaces we're going to say something like title dot text awesome so let's save that and I'm just going to delete everything just so that we have a clean terminal I'll click on run and debug and what we should see is that m the title of the author sorry the name of the author which is gonna always be me and then the title of the actual blog as well for example David Bolas and then AI is not that impressive and if we have a look here it says David Bolas and the title as well at the top one AI is not that impressive now let's have a quick look at what else we can do so if I click inspect element and we can click on this for example and let's say we want to get the number of views that each one gets so all we need to do is maybe for this one we don't need the author we can just list the title and then the views so instead let's go over here and we're going to say first of all I just want to save the class name ah oh, I didn't even save it all right so we can say something like views equals to soup let's just copy this like that now for this it was a span as well so we're just going to go over here and say span for the class it was this one so let's go ahead and copy it and we're going to be placing it uh, inside of the class and for our for loop we can simply just start saying view and for this we can say views and what I want is I actually want the title to be first so like this and then plus views and here we can just pass view dot text oops there we go let's have a look at why we are getting an issue here oh there we go the plus and now if I just save this and run it you can see that we're getting the title so AI is not that impressive and then the number of views which is five but you can see that we're getting the number of views we're getting the titles and so on so this was a very quick tutorial on how you can do some web scraping um, i would recommend getting a better look into this it's a great tool that you can use and it helps you just go over the internet in a really good way really um, and create your own algorithms and i'll also be making some more tutorials on this and get into details on how you can even sign in to websites and get the information from there. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you leave a like and a subscribe if you can. Have a good day.